Hello everybody, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. And um, today we're going to try and make Irish soda bread. This is something I've never made before. And um, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. So I thought um, I'm going to be making a boiled dinner. And I thought to go with our boiled dinner, I'll try and make some Irish soda bread. So what I do, I usually like binge watch a few different videos on YouTube of how people make Irish soda bread and kind of squish them together and make my own recipe with little bits from all the videos I've found. So uh, this recipe calls for some buttermilk. I don't have buttermilk, so I'm going to make my own buttermilk. Uh, so what I'm going to do, well, let me see here. I looked this up myself. Uh, it says for every cup of buttermilk needed, uh, add two tablespoons of lemon juice or white vinegar. So I'm going to be making two loaves of Irish soda bread. And it calls for, let me see here, what did I figure out? One and two thirds cup. So I'm going to double that. I should have had this stuff ready. I apologize, folks. Let me see here. Let me see here. Let me just rinse that out. Um, I mean, you can make your own buttermilk. Uh, I also read online and watch videos. Um, by letting your milk sit out for three days. But I don't have time to do that. And I'd rather just make what I need and uh, be done with it. So, I have whole milk here. And this is a four cup measuring. So, I'm just going to make four cups of buttermilk. That's a little more than I need, but um, you can use buttermilk for lots of different things. So, it's going to call for two tablespoons per one cup. Four cups, so I need eight tablespoons. Let me just double check that. Yep, and I have lemon juice. I have uh, vinegar too, but I thought I'm gonna use lemon juice. It's a new container. So tell me guys, uh, if this is my first video you've watched, welcome. I'm just new to the YouTube community. I consider myself a professional YouTube watcher, but um, I just, I wanted to start making videos myself, one, for fun, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what this does, this will curdle the, the uh, like sour the milk. It'll start to curdle, like I can already see it. Um, I'll bring it up close to you. This is a new camera, guys. Um, and I am by no stretch of the imagination a professional. I'm not. It's hard to see. Oh. But it's starting to curdle. I'm going to leave this for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll be back to uh, start putting this Irish soda bread together. Okay, guys, we're back. I went ahead and tried to make one um, before I filmed one, and I'll show you what it looks like. It doesn't exactly look like they did on some of the videos, but I tried my best. So we'll do this next one together. And like I said, this is my first time ever making it. It might end up being a complete flop, but it'll be fun making a mess anyways. So the recipe I, I really wanted to try was from uh, the Bigger Boulder Baking. And I'll put a link down below this. You should check out her video. Hers looks beautiful. She's actually Irish. 
uh, well, from Ireland with the accent and everything, but she really knows what she's doing. But I'm just trying. So it says to have two bowls, one for wet, one for dry. So this is one and three fourths cup of a whole wheat flour and one and three fourths cup of all purpose flour. I'll try to zoom up closer when I'm doing the actual mixing around. The next is we need one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. This is the rising agent because this is uh, this is what is called according to. Gemma, it's a quick bread because it takes, you can put this together in a snap if you know what you're doing. This is my first time, so it's taken a little a little while. But she said you got to be very careful adding the baking soda. Make sure it's leveled off, which this is, because if you put more than is necessary, you'll end up tasting it in your bread, and it can also turn the dough a little green. And even though it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, you don't want to have green dough. Um, so mix those together. The next she said two tablespoons of butter. So I have butter out here. And my hands, they, they're dirty now because I just got done doing that other bread, but I, I haven't really touched anything except this stuff since. I'm just guesstimating this. About two teaspoons or tablespoons. And she said to have cold butter to add it in. And then we we break it up. When I do that, I'm going to see if I can zoom this in. I'm not sure how good it'll be, but I'll try. And I just thought I'd try to break it up, give it a head start with the knife. So, all right, I got it positioned. And this is that buttermilk. It's hard to tell, but it's the consistency of a runny yogurt. It certainly did its job and it's one and I wrote down her recipe one and two-thirds cup of buttermilk but first we need to uh, break up this butter I usually have a thumb ring on folks but I take it off um, yeah. you'll have to wait Maze. you'll have to wait um, yeah. Mr. Maze is over there and wants to come in but he keeps trying to get his hands into the flour and all that stuff and since I'm filming I, I don't need little hands all over the place go see Mally and I'm just breaking this margarine up in little pieces and it's not sticking too much to my hands because it's coating itself in flour all right in her video she makes a little well oh before I do that with this buttermilk we're supposed to add an egg to it. So let's do that. And she had a, yeah, I, I suppose I didn't need a separate bowl. I can just use this, uh, this measuring cup. Egg. Egg, yeah. May's won the battle. He's in the kitchen. But I, I lay down the chairs when I'm trying to do something. So don't get me wrong. He can still climb up, but it takes him a little longer. So mix that around. Now, we add it to here. Now, there was a whole bunch of different Irish soda breads out there. Some people add sugar or honey. Some people add raisins and currants. Um, I just wanted to make a, a simple, plain one because, like I say, we're having a savory comfort food kind of meal tomorrow. And I just thought a plain kind of bread would go better with it. I, you know, they can butter it and dip it into the... The juices of a boiled dinner. I know a lot of people have corned beef and um, cabbage. We're having uh, salt pork with cabbage and turnip and potatoes and onions, all that stuff. Now, in her video, she said, use your hands, and we don't need this dough. We just kind of mix it around. The less you work with the dough, the fluffier it will be. So, 
actually this one turned out a little better than my other maze. He's over there I'm trying to mess with my with my loaf, that silly boy. Anyways, the other one that I just did seemed uh, really like runny and stuff like that. So I didn't know if I did it. I actually added a little more flour to it just because, I mean, this is really quite sticky. Don't get me wrong. The, the other one was stickier. So I'm gonna get a little more flour and uh, then we're gonna put it out on this work surface. Okay, usually I'm a little more prepared, but today has just been a Whackers Crackers day. So yeah, I live in rural Nova Scotia, for anybody that doesn't know. And, uh, well, for my side of my family, like I have six children. We have six children, I should say. It doesn't, takes two to tango. Anyways, my ancestry is from uh, Ireland and Finland. And uh, I think we'll leave a little bit of Scotland too, but Maze, get out of there, for goodness gracious. And we don't really celebrate, you know, anything big and significant, or I shouldn't say it like that. But we like to take the time, if there's holidays out there, to learn a little bit more about them. And uh, yeah, right now it's... St. Patrick's Day, or just about St. Patrick's Day Eve, and uh, yeah, we're going to take full advantage. We have a Leprechaun movie to watch coming up. Now, in her video, she said just put this on a floured baking sheet, so that's what I'm going to do. She had quite a bit of flour on there, but I don't know. I don't know if that's too much or not. It was hard to tell. She did it so fast. And, uh, yeah, we don't need it. We just kind of form it. We can give it a little bit of a squish if we want. But there. I'm putting two on a baking sheet. They might end up sticking together, but that's okay. And what she did, I thought was really kind of neat. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. She said we got to bless the bread. And she did this in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And then, I thought it was cool, she said you got to poke each corner to let the fairies out. I'm telling you, folks. All right, he's dismissed up into his bed, but no doubt he'll be down, but it gives me a couple of minutes. So yeah, we bless the bread, we let the fairies out, and then she put a couple of tablespoons of oats on. I guess this is her mother's recipe, and she got permission to share it, so I want to give credit where credit's due. And uh, yeah, make sure you check out her link. If you comment there, let her know Tracy from Nova Scotia Living sent you. So the oven's preheating. I'll bring you back when that's ready to go in the oven. Okay, we're about to put it in the oven. Fingers crossed. 425, 15 minutes. And then we'll be back to see. Then we'll turn it down. Okay, the 15 minutes are up, so let's take it out and look at it. Ooh, maybe I should have put it on two different pans, but. It's looking okay. It's just they're going to be stuck together, but that's all right. So I'm going to flip this pan around and put it back.
back in the oven and I'm gonna set it as she said up to like a half hour so I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes and then check it and we'll go from there all right that's the other 15 minutes I'm gonna turn this pan again and I'm gonna just try it because it's nice and golden now I will try it in about 10 minutes all right guys it's out of the oven sounds hollow I'm just I just took it out so I'm gonna leave it a minute and take it off and put it on a cooling rack but it turned brown it doesn't look too bad for my first attempt our first attempt so uh yeah kind of looks like a bunch of boobs or a big bum I'm stuck together but yeah let me see if I can I want to see on the bottom gosh I hope it's not burned I did what she said oh that started to come apart where it was attached oh well I gotta let this sit for a little bit but it doesn't look like it's burnt so um yeah high five Alright folks, well, I'm about to sign off and I just cut up one of the things of uh, soda bread. So I'm going to taste it. Yeah, I've never had soda bread before so there's something different. I can tell that it's whole wheat for sure. It's not overly flavorful but it's not bad. It's soft in the middle for sure. It's crunchy on the outside. It'll be good with a. It'd be good with a soup or, like I say, boiled dinner tomorrow or something. But there's different ones to make. Like you can make sweet ones and ones with raisins and honey, like I mentioned. So. Yeah, for now this is my first attempt. Who knows? Maybe next uh, St. Patrick's Day I'll do a better one with less craziness. But. Uh, Thanks so much for joining me, and uh, I hope everybody has a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. And, uh, yeah, love the ones that are in your life, and uh, cheers, everybody. This is Tracy from Nova Scotia Living signing off. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.